It's being described as one of America's first insider threats on elections. An elections clerk in Colorado just turned herself in to face felony charges for tampering with voting systems. Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters also happens to be a Republican candidate for Secretary of State, the job overseeing elections. Steve Steger starts us off with what we learned from today's indictment. Republican Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters was booked Wednesday afternoon after turning herself in to face a grand jury indictment, seven felonies and three misdemeanors. Her deputy clerk, Belinda Nicely, there too, booked on six charges in that same indictment. Mesa County Republican DA Dan Rubenstein says these are likely the only charges they'll face, but. We do still have a parallel investigation going with the uh, FBI uh, into some devices and that might uh, change, uh, you know, and add some additional people. Peters and Nicely's conduct is linked to the spring of 2021 in the lead up to an election security software upgrade required by the Secretary of State. They're accused of concocting a plot to copy the hard drives of the county's election machines before that upgrade, a copy of which ended up online along with passwords months later. Nicely is accused of getting all the surveillance cameras in the elections office shut off days before the upgrade, she says at the order of Peters. The indictment says the pair recruited a man named Gerald Wood to come on as a temporary employee. Wood's involvement is important in this because his badge was used to access the computers and Peters introduced a man that she was with as Gerald Wood the day the state came in to do the upgrade. But Wood told the grand jury he was only in the office for a day, turned in his badge at the end of the day, and wasn't there when his badge was used in the alleged conduct. It seems he was set up uh, as a stooge here so that she could sneak somebody else uh, into the facility to be able to uh, obtain the image. Matt Crane is the executive director of the County Clerks Association and the former Republican clerk from Arapahoe County. He agrees with the charges, stopping short of calling for Peter's resignation, which he says is up to her community. For, you know, the other clerks in the state who did the right thing, um, you know, there's a there's a sense of uh, relief. There is a sense of, um, in some ways, vindication. A couple of moments before we got word that Peters had turned herself in, her campaign for Secretary of State released a lengthy statement calling the charges politically motivated and an attempt to remove a strong challenger from the race against Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. Griswold herself described Peters' actions as an insider attack against election security. Kyle. Steve, I... I am by no means an expert on doing crimes, but I've always thought if I was if I was going to do crimes, I would be careful not to talk about them in public. And one thing that you see is some of the stuff that she's accused of doing that they say are crimes is stuff that Clerk Peters has just openly talked about, like on podcasts, on TV and all over the place. Think about the day that we learned about all of this that evening. Tina Peters appeared on at Mike Lindell's security summit. We knew so much about this indictment already. Really, the only new piece of news we, we found out there was that this may not have been Gerald Wood, as we long thought it was. It may be someone else. Now the question is, who was that person who was with Tina Peters the day of the trusted bill that she identified to others as Gerald Wood when he says he wasn't there? Mike Lindell, the pillow guy. Chances yeah. are he would have been, people might have known who he was, yeah, but who knows? Pillow guy. Yeah. What, a, what a time to be alive. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve.